What's going on guys, my name is Tom from Dread Labs and today we're going to talk glass typing. Dread Labs. Um, so I have this file uh, with a picture of a desert that, I can, uh, that you can find on Unsplash and I'll put a link up in the description for that. And a logo that I made uh, a while ago. Uh, it's a bit unreadable but it says Xanax. Anyway, we're going to transform this logo as if it were to be glass and it will be like uh, refracting some of these uh, pieces of uh, desert in here. Anyway, uh, let's just get started. Um, the first thing we're going to do is remove the fill uh, and add a bevel and emboss. And as you can see here, we're going to make the size a bit bigger so you can actually start seeing these contours. Um, and we'll lower the shadows because in yeah, the glass inner shadow is mostly not visible. Uh, the highlights, however, are. And I want to rotate this to somewhere here. And yeah, I kind of want to up the size here and soften it up a bit so uh, <clears throat> the transition is a bit more smooth between the highlights and like the nothingness here. Uh, and then I would also like to add an inner glow. Um, and we'll just reset this to default um, so we can you can follow along. Anyway, I want to up the size so you can actually start seeing the highlights on every side of this. Um, and I like to make it a bit more noisy uh, to give off that little bit of uh, glassy, glossy feeling, I guess. Um, like this. And then just add a little bit of choke so the outlines are a bit more visible. Um, okay, so now that we have this, I want to do... Uh, add something more to uh, increase the realism a little bit. Um, so what I want to do is I want to duplicate the background here. And I'm going to uh, rasterize it. And I'm, making I'm going to select Ctrl A to select my whole canvas. And then add a mask around my canvas. And then I'm going to apply a layer mask. And what this does is in my background here, um, I had a picture which was bigger than the canvas. and this picture right here is now only this square image. Um, this will be important for the displacement map that we're going to apply now. Um, so I'm going to uh, convert this to a smart object and we'll leave this uh, be for now. Uh, so we're going to select the logo here and we're going to duplicate the layer into a new file. I'm calling it a displacement map. And on the background of this file, we're going to place a 50% gray fill um, just to make sure that nothing above or at the bottom or anything behind except other than the logo will uh, move around basically. So we're going to uh, save this as a PSD file. And as you can see, I already saved mine to test this out. Um, anyway, just uh, uh, save it as a displacement and as a PSD. Uh, if you want to learn more about uh, displacement maps uh, in general, uh, I have a video on the basics of uh, displacement maps, uh, which you can check out on our channel. Um, anyway, now that we're uh, back in Photoshop, um, I want to make sure, uh, again, that this is a layer that is only in the size of our canvas. Okay, so we're going to go to Filter, Distort, Displace. And for the horizontal and the vertical scale, we're going to add 50. And you can leave all these settings as they are. And then click OK. And then we'll load in our displacement map. And as you can see here in the details, like the where the edge is starting to uh, come, the, uh, the view is kind of getting distorted. As if it were, if you were looking to a glass with a embossed effect on it. Um, so another thing that we can do is... Um, I'm going to duplicate this uh, again. Uh, remove the smart filter. Then we're going to go uh, and hit command or control on your keyboard and click on the logo here. And then mask this new uh, background layer again. So now that we have a now that we have a background and it's only in the form of our uh, our logo here. We want to select this. Click on select, modify, contract. I'm going to contract this by 20 pixels. And now we're going to go to select again, modify, and feather. And we're going to feather it by 10 pixels. And now we're going to remove the background and see if this is enough. 
Okay, so yeah, so now that we have this, um, uh, we can go back into our uh, original file here and you can see that the distortion is still there. A bit more heavy here, so what we're going to do is we're going to go and change these values up again. So we're going to select it again, go to modify, contract, and we're going to contract it by maybe 40 pixels. And then we're going to go modify again and feather it by 20. And yeah, so now that we can see it's actually a bit more feathered. Yeah, this should be fine, I think. Uh, so what we're going to do now is, now that we have a um, version on top of here that's actually like, um, this lines up with the original picture as you can see. Um, so what, we're gonna do, what I want to do now is, okay so now what I want to do is I want to duplicate this one more time, delete the displacement map, and rasterize this layer. And by rasterizing it and converting it into a smart object again we now have a separate smart object with the same background basically um, so what I want to do is I want to uh, go into filter blur Gaussian blur and I think about 20 pixels or something like that would be fine yeah this, this should be fine maybe a little bit less maybe 15 um, so now that we have this, I want to duplicate the logo and make sure that it's clipped on there. So if we remove the logo and the layer style. So uh, without the logo, uh, so without the layer styles on this logo and the blurred version clipped on um, the logo here, you can see that we're trying to make this clear. Uh, but if we uh, put the origin so if we put this clear version on top of it, you can see that it's kind of getting more clear as we go inside in the logo. So um, this should be a good time to um, rename all your layers because it's kind of getting kind of complicated here. Um, so we're going to go logo clipping mask. We'll name this one uh, Blurred Desert. And now that we have this one, this is like the clear focused part of the desert. We can group this. And this is the displace part, so we call this displacement. Displace desert, sorry. And now we need to lighten this. So you can see both of the displacement and the like blurred part. And we're going to put this on top. So here we have our. Uh, our glass logo. So to finish it up and uh, maybe do some color grading, you can maybe give your inner glow a little bit more of a cyan color. And just a little bit more subtle like this, uh, which gives it a bit, little bit more, a more natural look uh, in comparison to the white. Um, so there you have it. Here we have our uh, glass logo uh, display on the desert. Um, I hope you learned something today. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, suggestions for new tutorials, please let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.